Hello everyone, I am Usman Nasir and uh, today I am going to record this uh, video tutorial uh, that how you can use open light speed as a reverse proxy uh, while use, using cyber panel because uh, cyber panel on the back end use open light speed. So in this tutorial I am going to use rspamd as an example. We will create a website on cyber panel and uh, then proxy traffic to rspamd and uh, basically rspamd will be accessible via our domain name uh, first you can ensure that rspamd is running on backend using the netstat command so usually the gui of rspamd is running on port 11334 so we can confirm that by visiting ip address of server and port and we can see that our spam d is running just fine but now obviously this does not look i mean professional so you would want to access it via some domain for example our spam d dot your domain dot com so you can create a website on our spam d dot your domain dot com i i will be using uh, the cyber panel temporary domain feature and i will create a domain our spam d and create the website uh, okay so uh, while the website is getting created uh, you will also need an access to light speed web admin uh, we already have a tutorial for this i will uh, share the link for this tutorial in the uh, description box below so once you have an access to light speed web admin uh, you can log in using the credentials that you have set uh, go to server configuration uh, click on external app and add new external app of type web server so uh, we can give it a name of our spam you can give it any name you want now in the address section uh, you will have to give this because it will redirect traffic to this address so i have done that you can set maximum connections to 60 connection keep to 60 and this is just an example settings and you can click save all right so uh, restart this once so our configuration is i think it must be yes mm, it is configured so we have recently written a blog tutorial on how to access our spam d uh, gui so now we will use rewrite rules to redirect traffic to this uh, backend so we created this website uh, we will go and visit this web, uh, visit the website manager for this website and uh, this was the website we will open its rewrite tools and paste this read now make sure that this, this rspamd is equal to what you have set the name here so if you have set a different name here uh, so make sure that this is what you write here so we will remove this uh, this basically means that everything which is on the root of this should redirect to our backend proxy so i will save these rewrite rules and then i will visit this domain and you can see that uh, we are now able to access uh, rspmd through a proper domain name uh, if you want to like for example you can use this with your docker containers as well so for example your docker container uh, you have an app which is running at port 8088 localhost you can just change here to 127.0.0.1 and uh, 8088 you can also even get cyber panel actual website from here as well although that is not a good thing but if you save here and 
go back here and click refresh uh, obviously this is not accessible due to cloudflare uh, but you can do that too so uh, if you have any questions in this regard uh, feel free to ask in the comment section thank you